Hey guys, this is Adam Lane of PocketNow.com and we got a uh, request to see a couple more features in the Galaxy Nexus. So in this video we are going to take a look at the browser and the movie studio for video editing. Let's take a look. First off, let's look at the movie studio. Now this is a free video editor that uh, is included with the Galaxy Nexus and we can combine clips um, you can trim them, you can add transitions and effects so here I have three clips are added you can press the plus button to add more clips to that end or more clips to this end and we can drag along the timeline to see uh, the different video update up there and if I tap one of the videos here I can trim it a little bit And there's your check mark to apply that. When I have a clip selected, there's an FX button up there. And I can choose a couple different effects. There's a gradient, sepia, and negative. Okay. This tiny little dot right there, that's your progress bar. So you have to wait for that to apply. It's very hard to see. So we're waiting, and it's going to apply that. Now the dot is over here. It's still rendering. Uh, we can also add titles. And here's your menu up there. We can export the movie. Okay, now we can also add transitions. There's already a transition there. We can transition out. There's usually a transition in and a transition out. So we'll fade to black. And there's your progress bar dot. We gotta wait for that. And now it should be playable. And that should fade out. There we go. And you can add a soundtrack as well. So lots of cool features for a video editor. Uh, this is a free one bundled with the device. It's uh, similar to iMovie. It's not the first time a smartphone has come with a video editor. Uh, the Nokia N8 also had one, which was pretty similar. You just kind of put the uh, video clips in a row and uh, add transitions or titles, the usual kind of thing. So that's on the Nokia N8. So that's a very cool program. We're kind of slow rotating. There we go. Alright, next up, let's look at the browser. So this has been uh, redesigned a bit for Ice Cream Sandwich. We have your dot 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 little menu up there instead of on a hardware button. And we have a really nice little feature, Request Desktop Site. So really quickly you can go to the desktop version of a website. And it works pretty good, pretty quick. Sometimes you gotta wait for other things to reload and show up. But it works pretty well. Up here are your tabs. So you can switch between those. The tabs do not show up in the recent programs listing. You only have one entry show up there. We'll do a speed comparison with the low-end Radar 4G. Both of these are on 4G network. This one's on Verizon LTE. This one's on T-Mobile's. So here we have HTML5 rendering speeds. The bandwidth doesn't seem to matter much. It's the processing power. We have 39 frames per second over here and 19 over there. There's our speed reading test. Again, by the specs, this one should be much faster. We have dual core 1.2 gigahertz. We have just a single 
gigahertz over here with maybe 512 megs of RAM. We have a gig of RAM over here. And we have a much faster LTE 4G internet connection over here. But you can see this one was getting 32 frames per second, whereas this is at 8. So there you have the new browser and video editor uh, for the Samsung Galaxy Nexus now on Verizon. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and that's it for now.